Season Center for Grieving Children was founded in 1995 after the deaths of Samantha and Jessica Ramey, uh, who are 12 and 10 years old. And our uh, co-founder, Roly Ramey, their father, um, in his grief, uh, realized that there wasn't enough community support for, for kids in our communities. So he founded Season Center in their memory to help other families who are grieving the death of a loved one. So we came to Season Center in February of 2017 after the death of my husband, Mike, um, in December 2016. He passed away suddenly on a family vacation to Florida. Um, so I was left with our three children and I had heard about Season Center through some friends as well as um, a past participant who had lost a son and uh, had come to the center for support for her other child. And so um, two of my three children utilized the services here. For me, my biggest panic was that my kids were not gonna be okay. And so um, all of the years that you spend worrying about screen time and friends and what they eat and all of that, is suddenly completely insignificant. And so my panic was that they're, they're not gonna be okay. All of that work we've done and they're not gonna be okay. So for me, I was very motivated um, for them to get the support that they needed in, by any means possible. So I'd heard wonderful things about Seasons, so of course that was um, the first place that we came to get that support. So the programs that we offer are peer support groups uh, that are for children ages 5 to 24 and their caregivers to help them find comfort on their journey so that they know that they're not alone. Season Center's focus is, is strictly on uh, families um, and with children that have lost, like a loved one has died. Um, so that's our particular focus and we group them according to developmental age and also by the cause of death. So if a family member died um, by suicide or by overdose, then those, those kids would be grouped together. Um, and it's, it's groups of 10 and it's very much, everybody's very much supported. We have buddies that are volunteers that are involved um, as well as trained grief facilitators coming to Season Center and having other participants um, understand that loss and be able to relate to you um, was a huge, huge benefit for both myself and the kids. I always say grief is a life sentence. It's not something that you ever um, get over. You move forward, you learn to live with it, you learn that you can feel uh, grief and joy collectively and you can move forward and still have a wonderful, fulfilling life. Um, as a mother, every milestone that my children go through, every birthday, every graduation, everything, is both a joyous occasion and also a very sad occasion because he's not there to participate in it. And I don't foresee that ever going away. That's just part of what our life exists as now without him. We've got our 26th annual Tender Hearts Gala uh, coming up on Friday, April 29th. It's in person this year, so we're really excited. Uh, it's at Liberty North in Barrie. Uh, tickets are $175, and that includes a three-course meal, wine, entertainment, a live auction, and a silent auction, and a live band, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. You can purchase your tickets online at grievingchildren.com forward slash gala and all the information is there. Our theme this year is Alice in Wonderland down the rabbit hole, so it's gonna be a super fun evening. We have some really exciting items in our auction this year. Uh, we have a two night stay at the JW Marriott in Muskoka. We have um, a private catered dinner for eight. We have a barbecue that is donated by Napoleon. We have um, golf, passes. We have four tickets to the Blue Jays game and we have a Colts game box um, with food and bev beverage and there's many many other great exciting items. 
Our online silent auction uh, will be running this year from Saturday, April 23rd to Saturday, April 30th. So even if you aren't able to attend our gala in person, you can make a bid and support Season Center for Grieving Children um, by purchasing an item in our online auction. All of the funds that we raise from our gala are going back into supporting our no-cost programs for our peer-to-peer -peer support groups. So if you have the opportunity, you need to come out to the gala. Uh, my daughter Ella and I spoke that at the last one that was live. It's a beautiful, wonderful occasion. It's full of energy. It's exactly what everybody needs right now coming out of this awful pandemic. The, all of the proceeds that are raised, it's a huge, huge part of keeping the center going and helping all of these children that come here for the support and love and community after the loss of a loved one.